the relation with graph technology, graph database technology. It's finally given us a way to explicitly represent all the connections between data. And, and actually, if you take a look at what Tim Berners-Lee was hoping with the semantic web was making those semantic connections. So, so graph itself is actually, you know, it, we finally found a way to persist this, to instantiate this, as opposed to you're writing lengthy, you know, lengthy, you know, documents. Uh, right. And it's also provides a mechanism by which you know, this can be updated because I think a key, a key problem, a key limitation of all the, you know, the, the, the approaches that we've had in the past, it's not that they were wrong, it's that they were static because that was the technology that we had at the time. A database can be updated. Additionally, with AI, and we'll start with just machine learning. Machine learning can start to discover the patterns on which data is being consumed. And the fact is, is that this can scale the efforts of the best human modeler in terms of we can get, you know, humans can probably get an 80% idea in terms of, you know, the 80, 20 rule, 20% of the flows account for 80% of how we're using data, but it's other 20% and it's the exception conditions, the exception conditions that, for instance, that process modeling BPM could never capture that data models could never capture, but we see these exceptions and machine learning can discover that. And help us, you know, and help us show like this is actually really how this information is being consumed, and and for what processes, and under what scenarios. So I mean, it's never going to be perfect, but it's going to be a heck of a lot more um, reliable than a static snapshot. That's so that's you know, so that's a couple of things that haven't even gotten to generative AI yet, and generative AI you know provides a, a couple of key advantages. One of course is that it provides you know, a natural language interface. It provides a way of basically being able to converse with your data. And I use, I like to use the metaphor of how Captain James T. Kirk on Starship Enterprise communicated with, you know, with his data, you know, and I'm not talking about, you know, actually Lieutenant Data was basically was a, was, a, was the next generation, but with data on his computer, let's put it that way. I don't want to mix metaphors there. But the other thing is that it also brings unstructured data, you know, into all this. And we briefly looked at this during the era of big data, but big data was really more about variably structured data. But here with, with generative, we can actually find, and basically we can introspect all that unstructured, whether it be text, image, audio. There are so many things that are now that are accessible to us that we can now mine and basically understand what's being used, why it is, and all that sort of cool stuff.